Hello, welcome to the channel where we talk about all things Salesforce as well as other key business tools. In this video, we will be walking through the process of how to create product bundles in Salesforce CPQ. Product bundles are great because they not only speed up the quoting process for your reps, but they also guarantee they are selling viable products. For example, if your company sells a laptop that is only available with eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM, you wouldn't want to sell 100 laptops to their customer with 32 gigabytes. You would then have to have a very awkward conversation with them and probably apply some additional discounts if they still wanted to do business at all. Product bundles also allow the admin to give their reps suggested add-ons. In today's video, we'll explore this functionality and go through the process of adding some different external options that would go great with a new laptop. If we navigate to the product here in Salesforce, you can see this is the 15 inch laptop that we were looking at previously. It's configured with three different features, processor, memory, and storage. Also, you can see the sort order 10, 20, 30, if we look at the options, you can see seven different ones here. And if we dig into a specific option, we can see here on the page which feature it's related to. If we go in here and click edit, we can adjust the related feature. Let's change it from processor to memory. And then I'll click save. Now, if we look back into our product configuration view of our laptop, you can note the change we just made. This specific CPU option has moved from the processor feature down to the memory feature. So that's essentially how a product bundle works in Salesforce CPQ. First, we configure the features that need to be available. Then we add all the options and relate the two together on the parent product. To create a feature, highlight over the related list and click new. I'll give it the name accessories. Since these will be upsell products, the minimum options should be zero. For something like RAM, the minimum should be one. For max options, I don't want to limit my reps, so I'll leave it blank. For category, I can go ahead and select hardware. The number is our sort order. Since this will be our fourth feature, I'll type in 40. This will leave plenty of room to add features in between in the future. Once everything looks good, I'll click save. So now that we have our new feature, we'll go ahead and create a new option by clicking on the options and then clicking new. Next, I'll go ahead and select an existing product. The number here, again, is the sort order in which it will display in the configuration. I'll type one and then head over to the features and select the one we just created. Next, we can default the product as selected or required here. We can even default the quantity as well as determine if that number is editable. Lastly, we can provide a range for how many units can be sold. The type determines what type of product it will be. Looking back to our prior example, memory is a component of a computer. In this example, though, a monitor is a related product. The quote line visibility section determines if the line item is always shown or if we want to only show it in the editor or quote document. The pricing section can be used if we want to include the product within the bundle's pricing or if it keeps its original list price. We can also determine discounts if sold in the bundle as well. Once everything is filled out, I'll click save. Let's go through this process one more time. Go to options here and click new. Search and select a product. Here it will be the webcam, then add a sort number. This will be two, so it will show up second in the configuration. Next, I'll leave these blank. From the features option, I'll search and add the new one I created called accessories. The type for this component will be a related product as well. I won't change anything else for this component, so I'll go down here and click save. Back in the line editor, you can see I added the 15 inch laptop and I'm back on the configuration screen. This is where I can select the various options the computer has, as well as see the new accessories section we just added. For the processors, I have to option to select only one of these. And you can see here the quantity is locked. In the accessories section that was just created, you can see the two options we created. If I add them both, you can see the quantity for the monitor is locked and the quantity for the webcam is adjustable. This was all configured in the option. Once I click save, it'll take me to the line editor page. From here, I can see the laptop product and grouped below all the options I just added. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks.